This is the story of a little fat kid who loved to play basketball, and he grew up to be one of the greatest NBA players to ever play. Born on February 20th, 1963 in Leeds, Alabama, Charles was always outspoken. Gaga Goo Goo Ernie, why you always gotta be taking me in this little girl carriage? You know I don't like that. Now you hush, Charles. You know this the only carriage we could afford. You hush. Be a good little boy. But I'm saying, Mama, why you always gotta be taking me everywhere in it? It's ridiculous. Just take me home. And growing up as a teenager, when others didn't believe in him, he believed in himself. I'm going to be in the NBA one day. I'm going to be a superstar. I'm going to be playing with Kareem Abdul-Chamberlain. I'm going to be one of the best ever. They're going to talk about me. They're going to say, how did he win so many championships? It's ridiculous. Wouldn't you know it, this little fat kid from Leeds, Alabama, was selected fifth overall in the 1984 NBA Draft by the Philadelphia 76ers. Yay, I made it to the NBA. Well, see, after I can never beat Michael none of them times, which was ridiculous, if I don't mind me saying, I text message him. You see, this was in the early 90s. Only the most richest and the most special people had text messaging back then. It was around. Go check their Googles. Anyways, I go text message Michael Jordan. I says, Michael Jordan, can you please stop winning all these championships, beating me in the finals every year? And he texts back to me with classic Michael. That's why we friends to this day. After his career in the NBA, Charles was ecstatic to join the NBA on TNT. Yay, I'm on TNT. The voice of a generation, Charles Barkley was not silent when he found out about the terrible 9-11 terrorist attacks. Here is his reaction. That is just terrible. And here is Sir Charles' reaction when he found out America had elected its first African-American president. Oh, that's ridiculous. With countless records broken and many championship titles earned. Wait, what? He never won a championship? Well, then why are we, why are we doing this on him? We might as well do it on Carl Malone. Bunch of losers. Why do we? Oh, that, that, this is his daughter? Oh, my goodness. Sweet Jesus. Charles Barkley may have never won any championships. And he may not be that bright, but look at his daughter. Oh my goodness. I would give up every championship in the world to be balls deep in that right now. So kids watching this, don't you ever give up on your dreams. If a little fat kid from Leeds, Alabama can grow up to be one of the top 100 players of all time, then you watching this surely can do anything you set your mind to. So Sir Charles, we salute you. Thank you for watching our documentary. Please subscribe to Apocalypse Channel. It's the Charles Barkley Show. Welcome to the Charles Barkley Show, everybody. Where my co-host is me, Charles Barkley. So, how you doing, Ernie? I'm pretty good, Ernie. That's good, that's good. My bad, Ernie. That was terrible. What you think about it, Charles? I also think that was terrible. Anyways, my first guest tonight is a singer and an actress and a dancer. Please welcome Ernie Grande. Hi, 
it's nice to meet you. So you sing and you dance? Yeah, it's really fun. You singing and dancing at the same time? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you, I tried my best. Yeah, well, you singing and dancing and you an actress? That's just ridiculous, Ernie. <laughs> Do I leave? Oh, sorry, Ernie. I guess we're out of time tonight. Please welcome me next week, where my guest will be Carl Malone, Shaquille O'Neal, and a bunch of other big dummies who can't really talk very good. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Jesse Ventura investigates. Tonight on Jesse Ventura investigates, why are so many high-end prostitutes going missing? And why are NBA players usually the last ones to see them? I sat down with former NBA great Charles Barkley to ask him what he thought. So Charles, Hey, hi, Ernie. So, Charles, what do you think about all these high-end prostitutes going missing? I don't know. It's ridiculous. I just, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I wish I did know, though. I wish I did. But one question Charles didn't want to answer was one about his fine-ass daughter. Charles, is his fine-ass woman your daughter? Yes, that is my daughter. Where did you get that picture at? Come on now, Ernie. Where where you get that picture at? Stop fooling around. I also interviewed legendary whoremonger Carl Malone. So, Carl, what do you know about all these whores going missing? Hi, my name Carl Malone. One last question, Carl. Have you seen Charles Barkley's daughter? Is she not fine or what? Mm-mm, good, yes. Carl Malone likes that. I am Carl Malone. Some blame the cartels for all the missing prostitutes. But I've done a lot of research, and I'm pretty sure it's one thing nobody thought it was. They have been abducted by aliens, obviously. We may never know what's contributing to all these high-end prostitutes going missing. Whether it be drug cartels, alien abductions, no one is sure, but we are sure that Charles Barkley's daughter has asked for days. You just wanna bite onto her booty, oh my goodness. Thank you for watching Jesse Ventura Investigates. Join me again next time when I investigate alien witnesses who happen to be some of the finest strippers in North America. Raymond Noodle Gang. We the Raymond Noodle Gang. Gang. Raymond Noodle Gang. Gang.